Well, hey guys, uh, welcome to the Tarvis. I uh, hope you uh, guys who got to see or, or tune in to the uh, live stream uh, had a good time with that. Unfortunately, uh, YouTube does not let me show all your comments and I can't go back and see them. It's uh, apparently uh, did a little online research, kind of some kind of limitation or glitch in the system so I can only see them when they pop up. Apparently there is one way to make it private and go view them, but then you guys wouldn't be able to see the thing afterwards. So whatever, just live with the limitation. Still a lot of fun. Been a little busy today. Uh, got some work done afterwards. Of course I had to spend a fair amount of time on the computer getting some other stuff done. Uh, but uh, that Rommel's rod that uh, I believe Mr. Garfield Smith uh, sent me, thank you. I finally got started on that. I, I was actually hadn't really intended to. Same with the B47, I just wanted to look at something in it and uh, then I put a piece together and another piece and the thing just almost fell together on its own. It's been a long time since I've built a kit that really didn't give me any aggravation. I can't think of a single uh, moment. The only, closest thing to that is got a chrome steering wheel and a chrome uh, steering shaft and of course chrome on chrome has trouble going together so I had to scrape that off. Uh, but that's about as much of a problem. I'm not completely done with it but it Gosh, I did all that in one sitting. It's really nice, including the painting. Um, of course, going to detail it more later. And I made a little work, got a little work done on the B47. The real problem, remember my uh, saying that, uh, oh, I'm looking forward to doing that ODK kit, some nice, simple build? Well, that one wing that had the really bad gap when I tried to putty it, I don't know if I used too much glue or too much putty, but it got soft, it popped off, it wouldn't go bad. So, Strip, file, re you know, do, 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 all over again. So now I'm just going to give that. And I've given it overnight to harden. Well, since I glued it, not since I puttied it. So now the glue's back on there. I did trim it so it would fit better. There are definitely some fit issues with it. Um, but uh, tomorrow, uh, you know, good Lord willing, the crick don't rise. I'll, uh, I'll get that done. So uh, really not a whole lot else uh going on you guys had a lot of great questions and man just one of the problems with, with you not being able to read the comment thread is if, if i read a question and i don't read it to you then unless you just happen to read it at the same time i'm doing it you may not know what i'm responding to so some it's somebody who just watches the video it's like you know is this guy having a, a seizure because he's uh he's talking about one thing right over to the other and of course people who really know me won't be that bothered um they kind of like nope it's just him uh the uh kate torpedo plane um uh, i uh got some uh, i decided to try to use liquid mask on it today so uh, i've got the liquid mask it's hardening on it I, I could trim it now but it's shed shut down for the night i'm gonna go in and spend some time with the wife unit uh but uh we'll we'll see how that goes because i just can't tape those tiny 170 second scale canopies i just don't have the hands or eyes for it but maybe with a nice new sharp exacto knife blade i can uh, trim that thing out and then just spray the whole thing peel it off you know how it works the liquid mask so we'll see how that goes uh a couple folks were talking about uh were asking about ravel and and um you know that company's changed so hand hand so many times it's hard to keep it's it's like watching a, a ping pong game but as i understand it right now ravel usa to answer the question it's just a small number of Americans that are getting kits shot for them uh, in China and Ravel Germany has apparently gets its kits. Not, most of them apparently come from Poland, but apparently they farmed it out to other places as well. But the a lot of the Ravel kits that were acquired by Hobbyco, um, and, or Ravel was acquired by Hobbyco, but when it, when it ceased operations and Blitz got it, uh, which is a German company, um, so uh, apparently, as I understand it, the molds, except for a few that they wanted, the molds never left Illinois. So uh, um, a lot of times it, it, it's weird when these companies, you know, you hear, oh, so-and-so sold out or went under, a lot of times the molds stay in the same place. They just contract people to shoot them for them. It, it, it's, it's, it's a, not always, a lot of times they pick them up and take off with them. Uh, the molds, uh, uh, I know a lot of the, uh, Aurora molds were, and some other stuff were acquired and have finally been moved. But apparently a lot of them spent that entire time in Illinois. They, they never left the, and they were, they were well taken care of. So, uh, that's kind of cool. But, uh, like I say, old, old molds never die. They just get rebranded and repopped. 
Well, really not much else going on, so uh, I'll let you guys go. Just a short one tonight, and uh, I, uh, I am working on the Aurora Files 3. This is going to take some time because uh, Andy's sending me a lot of great stuff, and it's it's on mostly on, on the cost of molds then and now, you know, actually he has a lot of information on what they actually cost then and it's it's just going to be a you know a, a big montage here this mold da, da, with music and everything probably some period music might have to use like instrumental karaoke covers or something because some um, getting dinged a couple of times with some of these a copyright claim you can't see it in denmark or whatever and uh i want to make sure people like hans peter get to see these things and Garfield Smith and all you other fine folks that have been, that have not only sent me stuff, which I really appreciate, but also just because I want everyone to be able to enjoy it. And you know what? You can always turn the volume down and put your own music on and make your own background music. Kind of making our own fun like we did when we were kids. So, uh, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. And this time, that really is pretty much it. I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching. And we'll have coffee in the morning. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and make a commitment to live streaming coffee tomorrow at 10 a.m. East Coast time. But it won't be the hour that we did today. It'll, it'll just be coffee like normal, 10, 15 minutes. And I'll think of something wonderful to talk about. And if you send some questions to me and I happen to know the answer off the top of my head, I'll tell you. And if not, I'll make up something really unusual and exotic. Now, what movie was that from? <laughs> I don't usually wear underwear, but when I do, it's something unusual and exotic. All right, there's your movie trivia question of the day. Good night, folks.